Hi, I'm Justin, and I'm here today to talk to you about the different types of knives and tools you can take on your camping, foil drive, fishing, or caravan adventure. Having these things will keep you prepared for a lot of situations, and allow you to cook delicious food on the go. Whether you want to fillet a fish, cut some rope, or chop some firewood, you'll need to have the right tools at hand. These are the most important things you need to know about choosing your knives and tools. Knives are probably the most important tool in your kit and they can be used for a variety of tasks. There are many different types of materials to choose from. The two main types of knives are fixed and folding. Each has its own benefits and drawbacks, depending on your style of travel and what you'll be using the knife for. Fixed knives are where the blade is securely attached to the handle and is always in the same position. These should be used for heavy duty cutting because they are a lot stronger and more ergonomic. However, they can be heavier and bulkier than folding knives and you'll always need to ensure you put the blade back in a sheath to protect the sharp edges from being damaged and to protect yourself from an exposed blade. Folding knives are where the blade folds back into the handle. Because they're compact, they're good for lightweight cutting where you don't need a lot of strength. For example, cutting fish or vegetables for dinner, or when you need to make a quick incision with the tools you have on hand. When the knife is folded up, the edge is protected from getting blunt or cutting your hands. But when it's unfolded, it may not be as stable. Folding knives come in a few different types. Knives with locks keep the blade in position when it's unfolded, so you don't risk it snapping back, potentially onto your fingers. One-handed opening knives have a button on the side that you press to open the blade and lock it into position. These are great if you need to multitask or hold on to something with one hand while reaching for your blade with the other. Choose the type of material for your blade and handle based on how long you want the knife to last and how strong you want it to be. Focus on the material of the blade as this is what determines how well your knife will perform. Carbon steel blades can last a long time and are very strong and durable, but you need to commit to sharpening them and protecting them against rust. Stainless steel blades don't rust, but don't usually last long term. Cheaper options will cut well, but last a shorter amount of time, whereas more expensive options are both effective and durable. Handles make a difference to how comfortable the knife is to use. If you'll be doing a lot of work with your knife, invest in a better handle so you can avoid blisters or sore hands. Hardwood handles look good and can come in many colours and grains of wood. They can also be easy to hold and grip while chopping, but unless the wood is sealed, they are susceptible to water damage if you don't take the time to dry them out. Plastic handles don't absorb moisture and they are durable, but they can get slippery when they're wet. They are also the most affordable material. Rubber handles are water resistant and give you a good grip on the knife, but they're the least durable and can break or degrade easily. Stainless steel or aluminium handles are the most durable, but can be difficult to hold, especially when cold or wet. As well as your knife or knife set, you should also stock your kit with a set of tools so you can stay prepared for a range of situations. Some smaller tools include screwdrivers in various sizes and types, a medium sized flathead and Phillips head are good to start with, wire cutters and pliers, a small saw, a can and bottle opener, tweezers for splinters or deboning fish, and a metal ruler. While you could buy each item separately, a much better option to save space and money is to buy a multi-tool, which contains most of the tools you need. The size of multi-tool you choose depends on the type of trips you take. Keychain multi-tools are compact and light, but not as strong or durable, and usually include a limited amount of tools. They're best to throw in your backpack or pocket when you're hiking for a short length of time. Pocket multi-tools contain more tools and are a bit stronger, while remaining compact. They're best when you're hiking or backpacking with a larger pack as they take up more space. Larger tools are the most durable, sharpest and strongest of the lot, but they take up the most space. This makes them great when camping from your car, four-wheel drive or caravan. They can be quite ergonomic, but it's important to store them in a sheath for safety. Larger tools you may need include axes or hatchets, which can be used for chopping firewood. They're strong, but you'll need to keep the blades covered for safety. A saw, which can also be used for firewood, a shovel, so you can dig a toilet, a machete, which can be helpful to clear thick bush, and a rubber mallet for hammering in tent pegs or stakes. Knives are often an essential part of camping, but make sure you use and store them properly. The laws and regulations around what you can buy and carry differ between states and territories. 
The state government website of the place you'll be camping should have the information you need. Store your blades away carefully in a sheath or lockbox, especially if you have children around. When cutting, do so on a non-slip, even surface and ensure your knives are kept sharp. Blunt knives slip more easily when cutting. The knife and tools you invest in depend on how long you want them to last, how strong you want them to be, and how much work you want to put into maintaining the blade. If you're only going to be out in your four-wheel drive or caravan occasionally, buy a cheaper knife or tool that can still do the job. If you'll be travelling for a long time or more frequently, invest in a knife that will last you. Food left on the knife can wear down the blade over time. Be sure to clean your knife after each use, both to maintain proper hygiene and to make your knife last longer. Visit us in store or online at anacondastores.com if you have any questions about which is the right knife or tool to make your outdoor adventures even easier.